We begin tonight with a hate crime investigation as vandals target a prominent law firm. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. They struck with spray paint in the middle of the night. It's being called an anti-Semitic attack, not only on the offices of Goodman Acker, but on the community as well. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is in Southfield, where a partner at the firm is also a board member at the University of Michigan. Southfield police say four people were involved in the vandalism outside the law offices of Goodman Acker here. One person served as a lookout, while the other three spray painted their messages in what's being called a hate crime. This has nothing to do with Palestine or the war in Gaza or anything else. This is done as a message to scare Jews. Attorney Jordan Acker outside the Goodman Acker law firm where he's a partner and where vandals showed up just after 1.30 Monday morning to spray paint everything from Free Palestine and Divest Now to U of M kills and an obscenity directed at Acker who is a regent for the University of Michigan. This is not political activity. This is criminal activity. Surveillance cameras captured video of the vandals. Police are checking other cameras in the area and say they're investigating this as a hate crime. We're not going to speculate at this time who may have done this. Once the information comes in, once we complete our investigation, then we'll determine uh, the identity of the suspects. Make no mistake that targeting individual Jewish elected officials is anti-Semitism. Pro-Palestinian protesters have been locked in a battle with U of M regents over any amount of money invested in companies with ties to Israel. Three weeks ago, protesters left a demand letter at Acker's home. Regent Sarah Hubbard also got the same letter, along with fake bloody corpses on her lawn. And now this at Acker's office. They can do everything that the Constitution allows. But they can't do this. Donna Green stopped when she was driving by and saw all of this. This is out of control now. And it's just making people not like who's doing this. This group, your cause is being lost because of stuff like this. A representative from a pro-Palestinian group on U of M's campus said they do not know who's responsible for this, but slammed Acker for calling it anti-Semitism, saying the messages were clearly for divestment and a free Palestine. This is a dangerous escalation. It's intolerable. It's repugnant. It demands condemnation. Anyone with information on who's responsible is urged to call Southfield Police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. And I think it's important for people to bear witness to what rhetoric creates. It's one thing to go out and say, I, you know, the, we need a ceasefire in Gaza, right? That's a political opinion. This is not a political opinion. This is harassing Jews. In Southfield, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. All right, Kim, thank you.